I've come to Tate Modern, where I'm going to look at the new exhibition, Conflict Time Photography. There are images of battlefields, of conflict zones, taken in the seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, even years, after the act of violence took place. This is Don McCullen's shell-shot US Marine at the Battle of Hue in South Vietnam in 1968. Don McCullen was right up there in the front line. He had access that's always unimaginable a generation before or a generation after. And it is just an overwhelming physical impression of the effect of violence on, on the human body. This room really gives you a sense of the scale of modern industrial warfare. These are all images from Kuwait after the ousting of Saddam Hussein from Kuwait in 1991. It was a short war in the end, but one that's left a long and enduring physical legacy. The footprint of modern war is deeper and much harsher than the wars that have gone before. Now we are leaving behind thousands of tons of junk the detritus of war. I was really stopped in my tracks by this installation here. This is uh, pictures from the Congo, a year after the formal supposed end of hostilities. The legacy of the violence, the physical scars, people have been tortured and brutalized. Millions of people displaced living in camps like this. There's not a single weapon in any of these pictures. It's of people who are traumatized by the unspeakable violence that they've witnessed that has been perpetrated against them or their families. These are the unmistakable concrete structures, the German bunkers. Hitler liked to believe that his empire would be everlasting. And yet, these photos were taken 65 years after these structures were built. His empire's gone, and they're rotting away back into the sea. This is what happens to all the dreams of all the conquerors and dictators that have ever lived. Ultimately, in the end, their empires crumble into dust. These are four photographs taken on what was the Western Front during World War I. And I'm always struck every time I visit the Western Front that when we humans can hold the memories of these wars and conflicts in the past, the Earth itself doesn't really care. The Earth recovers, the trees reforest the landscape. 